Well, everybody, it looks like the drama is heating up. In terms of Sonic news, this has probably been the craziest week since whenever Sonic and Shadow Generations was announced, and that seems to have come and gone. But another remake or remaster has been taking the internet by storm, and that is the alleged Sonic Heroes remake that is apparently going to be happening, but we don't actually know if that's true. It's just something that's been coming out from leakers and rumors and things of that nature. But now it looks like a wrench has been thrown in all of this. So people who wanted a Sonic Heroes remake, there's some good news, and there's definitely some bad news also two leakers are going at it two sonic community leakers are going head to head kind of not really and it looks like this is all leading to the goat one of the best leakers of all time retiring potentially from the sonic leaking community a lot of crazy stuff to get into it's quite a crazy story let's get into it if you guys are a sonic fan subscribe to the channel with all notifications i'll give you a second and let's get into it. So the crazy week started off on Sunday when the trailer for Sonic Toy Party leaked out, which basically corroborated everything that the new leaker in the Sonic community, Midori, had stated. Although they've been a leaker for a while, they've recently just started touching on Sonic stuff. The reason why this is significant to today's video is because it proves that this leaker is extremely trustworthy and has a lot of verifiable information about Sega and Atlas. Fast forward a couple of days later, a fellow leaker in the Sonic community named Zippo, who has a pretty spotty track record, which a lot of people in the community do not approve of, Zippo came out and broke the news that Sega is looking to move on from Hedgehog Engine 2 for some future projects, and apparently a Sonic game would be getting remade using Unreal Engine 5. Which led to this tweet right here where someone was talking about Sonic Heroes in Unreal Engine 5, and then Midori, I guess there was maybe a translation issue or something like that, but it said, this is correct information, but there is not Sonic Adventure remakes right now. This set off the entire Sonic community to think that a Sonic Heroes remake was coming. Now, I would like to point out though, in Zippo's defense, Midori is corroborating that Sega does want to experiment with Unreal Engine 5. So you gotta give him credit for that, at least. This is where it gets pretty crazy. So after this announcement, Zippo came out and said, yes, Sonic Heroes is getting a full remake. So basically everyone, and including myself, has ran with this that, you know, a Sonic Heroes remake is reportedly in development. So now that's kind of what the big story is. But it looks like the leaker is backtracking this statement and it's not quite over for a Sonic Heroes remake. It still makes sense for a Sonic Heroes remake and there's many reasons why. I mean, we went down the list of all the games. Obviously, SA1 and SA2 are the two games that everyone wants, but it doesn't seem like it's appropriate at this time for them to release it because we don't even know if they can handle any remasters or remakes really properly because their track record with remasters and remakes has been pretty bad. So if you look at all the games that they could remaster, SA1 and SA2 are the ones that we want, but probably they're going to save those for an anniversary year, maybe the 35th or a 40th anniversary. Who knows? At that point, I'll be a grandpa or something. Sonic 06 makes absolutely no sense to do a remaster or remake because the game flopped and bombed commercially. Why would they return to that? And Sonic and Leash, well, yes, we want to see this on modern platforms. Maybe a Steam port at the very minimum. This game is still pretty accessible. You could still literally buy this game on the Xbox shop, PlayStation shop, and this game even runs at 60 FPS now on Xbox. So it's safe to say that this game really does not need a remake at all. At worst, it needs a port to PC, maybe a remaster. And once again, this brings us back to Sonic Heroes. This is a game that I think definitely deserves a remake or remaster because it could definitely use a fresh coat of paint. It could definitely use some polish. And all things considered, it's one of those Sonic games that has pretty decent reception. It's not perfect. It's a little bit mixed, but maybe some new changes could actually bring this game to the true full vision that the creators had prior to its release. Obviously, it was rushed and whatever, but this game is really inaccessible when it comes to modern platforms. So out of all Sonic games that could potentially get a remake, this one is seemingly all but inevitable to get one within the next 10 years, all right? Like before we die, we will see Sonic Heroes on modern consoles, I swear. So yeah, anyway, Sonic Stadium came out with a report and they kind of compiled some of the tweets. It says, no, a Sonic Heroes remake is not in development. Now, not in development and being planned to be made are two different things. Keep that in mind. It says, according to an insider with knowledge of Sega's upcoming plan. This is referring to Midori. It follows a report that went viral last night claiming such a project is being built with Unreal Engine 5. Also, one last thing to not beat a dead horse with the Sonic Heroes needs or deserves a remaster argument. This game suffers from having like an engine that I think they no longer have access to. I think EA or something like that has the rights to it. So if they wanted to actually re-release this game, there's a lot more challenges than people would expect. So actually making a full-blown remake in Unreal Engine 5 does make sense. Regardless, Sega does have plans to remake and remaster and just all around use Unreal Engine 5 going forward. So just keep that in mind. This is all relevant and salient information. So Midori has come out and responded to the fact that Sonic Heroes remake is being considered. So yes, the game is definitely being considered, but hey, what does that even mean? I mean, all things are probably considered. I'm sure they're considering adventure remakes as well, but it says, I do not think the original source is correct about it being released in 2026 or 
2027. This is referring to Zippo. So someone said it hasn't started development and Midori says, I don't think so. And I do not know about this remake title being released in the next three years. And I do not have any information on that. At the very least, the two sources are definitely conflicting. So Zippo is saying one thing, Midori is saying another thing. Midori and Zippo will even admit this himself has a much better track record. So as of right now, it is not confirmed that there's going to be a Sonic Heroes remake, although it is definitely being considered, which is good news for people who want one because I think it's inevitable at one point. But it gets even juicier. So Zippo says RE Midori. So I guess regarding Midori. So now the drama is unfolding and here it is, guys. Zippo has basically come out and said, sigh, I hate this type of stuff. Genuinely, drama is something that stresses me out. I'm simply sharing information here. I have no beef nor any rivalry with anyone else that is trying to do this type of thing. I've been made aware of some tweets that were made famous by Sega Atlas insider Midori. In it, she makes some bold claims claiming that I know one of her sources and that me and or my sources are one in the same and or that I've stolen information. No genuine offense to Midori, but these claims are absolutely baseless and untrue. If I were to make a guess, I would say she noticed the undeniable similarities in our information and just panic. I can confidently say with 100% certainty, we do not share sources. I've been in the game much longer than she has and things I've gotten right over the years speak for themselves. Some things to make abundantly clear, I and other people were privately talking about heroes weeks before I released Monday's story. I'll actually take a dig at myself here. If I somehow shared sources with Midori, don't you think my track record would be much better than it is now? now so in one statement he says my record speaks for itself and then over here he says my track record would be much better than it is now full transparency here she clearly has more accurate sega sources than i do not here to start any fights but i will absolutely defend myself from claims like this that are bogus and you guys get the gist so here's kind of the drama here's kind of where this stems from so it says yesterday when it was claimed by midori that sega is considering remakes for unreal engine 5 zippo ran with it and claimed heroes was getting the treatment then Midori later confirmed it. It was being considered and it is not actually in development. And now Zippo looks silly. And then Midori said, this is correct information. I messaged someone with this information because they were a friend, but I did not know they knew this Zippo. And I think they use it to create a rumor. So I won't message information anymore. I will be cautious with my information. And someone said, no offense, but you bear responsibility for starting with some of the vagueness and providing clarification on a tweet that reaches a smaller audience. No one was intentionally misrepresenting your words. Perhaps leakers should aim to be more direct. And she said, yes, I agree. In addition to that, if you were a son Sonic Leaks fan, this is actually really bad news. Also, if you like Sega Leaks too. It says, it is difficult, but I would like to stop using this account. Thank you for reading my Sega group information. Please continue to look forward to the future of Atlas and Sega. So either Sega got to her or honestly, the pressure of, you know, being an online communicator definitely got to her. Regardless, this is actually really big news and it looks like the future of Sonic Leaks, the last couple months that we've gotten information has definitely been a wild and awesome ride, but it looks like it's finally over. And Sonic Heroes, it's being considered to be remade. It's not confirmed to be in development. Yet. I mean, let's be real here. There's another remaster and remake coming in a couple of months. So why don't we worry about Sonic and Shadow Generations as much as I'd like to see Sonic Heroes get remade? I think we'll have to pump the brakes a little bit. We also have Sonic Toys Party coming soon, so I'll be streaming that as well. Just to give you a full recap, Midori is basically retiring after this whole saga. She says that Sonic Heroes is not actually being developed yet. It's being considered though, so that's actually really good news. And Zippo is still doubling down and saying that Sonic Heroes remakes are coming. So what do you guys believe? Crazy drama, crazy week for Sonic. Hopefully next week can be even crazier. But let me know what you guys think about all this.